In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The gospel of Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The three pointers, please. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, the poor, the sick, the needy, and the homeless had a special place in Jesus' compassionate heart. As followers of Jesus, we are also called to be compassionate to all these people. Number two, how ought my attitude towards others change so that I can be more Christ-like to the needy, homeless, and the aged? Number three, ask Jesus to inspire you to live more fully for his people who are in need of healing and to know the word of God. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Kitalyn. Welcome. So today's gospel is about healing, no? It's about healing. Um, let me share to you this uh, reflection no? from Marino das Marinas, no? Uh, okay. How, why do we pray to Jesus? That's the start of the reflection. Why do we pray to Jesus? Perhaps we pray because we want something from the Lord and we want to offer all our cares and worries to him. In our gospel, people went to him upon learning that Jesus was within their environment. They brought along their sick and probably and possibly all of the problems that they've been keeping in their hearts. They wanted healing for their body and soul, and Jesus did not disappoint them. Whenever we go to Jesus and we ask him for something, let us always expect that he will grant us that we, what we want from him. Physical healing, emotional healing, and any other healings that, that we want him to grant us. If we believe that Jesus has already healed us, then we are healed already. We have nothing to worry anymore. It's all in our state of mind. But how about those who pray to Jesus for physical healing but are not healed? Yes, there are countless instances that we pray yet we don't receive physical healing. Physical healing is only a, a minute or a tiny part of the healing process that we that we receive from Jesus. What we have to all to always recognize and be thankful for is the emotional and spiritual healing that he generously gives us without fail whenever we go to him. We if we are not healed physically, we need not worry. The faith that we have in our heart is more than enough for us to pull us enough, whatever, to pull us through whatever worries and sickness that we might we may have. Let us simply believe and have faith because Jesus will take control of the rest. Amen. 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 Amen.
So, so in this reflection of uh, Marino das Marinas, no, it's uh, um, it's it's about um, physical healing, spiritual healing, and emotional healing. We ask so many times, no, Father Danny, and we discuss many times, no, in the past, no, na now, no matter how much we pray, especially for physical healing, no, mas kina sa emotional healing, so no matter how much how much we prayed that we we thought we we already prayed fervently and with all the faith that we have no and yet the prayers are not granted but it was um um marino das marinas emphasized that even if we don't see or we uh, or we or the physical healing is not achieved but the spiritual healing is already achieved because when we pray, when we pray for physical healing, we show the Lord our faith, our faith. But we have our own destiny. It maybe it, uh, it, we are we are not destined to be healed. And then some are uh, just like um, this is just a good example about Ate Eva. No, for years we have been praying. We started praying for Ate Eva on the very first day that she was diagnosed with cancer and then sometimes no every single day thank you very much Sarah warriors no every single day we mention her name for for healing and yet and yet he did she heal but you know what i'm looking back no looking back in in at the eva's case no um yeah. healing spiritual healing of at eva spiritual and emotional healing of the family of the family because it took four years for Ati Eva and she she peacefully succumbed to to cancer stage four cancer with metastasis no with <clears throat> bone metastasis and everything and and um she lived another four years. So for me, no looking back, that four years is our prep was our preparation, the family members' preparation for for a more uh, more um serious um um thing to happen, which is uh, her end, her death. And then uh, on the part of Ate Eva, no, it took a long process because ang ang feeling niya is um uh, ang feeling niya was uh, bakit ako pa. Ganito na nga ang buhay ko, eh, bakit ako pa? Why me? Oo. It took four years also and almost, almost nandoon na siya, no? Nandoon na siya. We don't know, no? We don't know how she felt, um, how she felt, no? Baka in the process din, or the process na na-accept na niya, na-accept niya na, and the healing, you know, little by little, uh, spiritual healing niya. But in the long end, no? Uh, shortly before she passed away, um, she confessed, may pare na pumunta sa kanya, and then she confessed her sins. She has been refusing for many years to to uh, to confess and to receive Holy Communion. But sa, sa dying bed niya, uh, last two hours siguro, or one hour of, of uh, her of her death, no? Nakap-confess siya sa pare, nabindisyonan siya ng pare, and then she received Holy Communion. So that's also healing. Although she was not healed, she was not healed physically, no, but emotionally and spiritually, spiritually, she was healed. And the family members, kami, we we are healed emotionally. It's so it's so hard to accept na uh, it's so hard, hard to accept na a loved one ba. A loved one will will uh, will leave us. Pero it took it. God gave us four years, four years more of Ate Eva to process everything, to accept everything, to be prayerful. Four years now, the whole family, kahit na tayo dito, is very very prayerful now. Please, Lord, um, for the healing of Ate Eva. So that's that's healing. So many kinds of healing: you no know, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing, and financial healing. And just be patient. Just be patient and persevere in prayers. Because the healing hands of Jesus is always here with us, within our reach. So what we do is just ask for it. Patiently and with faith. Amen. 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 Tita Bell. I read the Catholic mom. 
As soon as Jesus left the boat, people immediately recognized him. There was no media then. They must have seen him preach, and they knew he could perform miracles. Word must have, tra must have been traveling far and wide. These are ancient times. The practice of medicine, as we know, it did not exist. People knew that Jesus was a great, was a great healer. How urgently they must have wanted to bring their loved ones to him. He offered the hope of healing. Jesus was traveling throughout the countryside to various towns and villages, not just one location. In each place, the sick were brought and laid on the market in the marketplace. The people begged that they might touch just the tassel of his cloak. Were there stories spreading about healings from just touching the tassel? It almost sounds a little superstitious, doesn't it? Just touch the tassel, that's good enough. Or perhaps the people were afraid to ask for greater contact, yet they believed. Did they know who Jesus was? They probably only knew he was a healer and a great teacher. Even the apostles were just starting to understand the fullness of Jesus' identity. Could we just touch the tassel? Jesus must have smiled at this emphasis on the tassel. We are all so simple, yet in his boundless mercy, we know that everyone who touched the tassel was healed. Every single one. Are we not all struck? Even now, 2,000 years later, Jesus still heals, sometimes using medicine, sometimes through sacramental grace, and sometimes even today, Jesus performs miracles. We know that the cause of every canonized saint includes evidence of a miracle, something completely unexplainable through natural causes. And we do we not all have examples in our own lives of Jesus performing miracles in one way or another or another? How much how might I be imagining limits on the power of God? Do I accept that God sends grace however he chooses and often in mysterious ways? Oh Jesus, have pity on my sickness as you did the masses reaching for your tassel. Please send your healing power to me and all my loved ones. Amen. 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 Beautiful. So beautiful and true. Yeah. The homily of the priest in Redemptorist, because uh, he was listening to the petitions before the mass started, and he timed the petitions, and he said, oh, there are so many petitions. It lasted for eight minutes. Then wh what was his realization now is the petitions were born out of faith and trust of the people in God's on God's mercy and compassion and as as we are also healed or when our petitions are being heard by our Lord we also become instruments of his healing powers then I remembered last night or yesterday's gospel the salt of the earth and light of the light. world uh -oh. Uh -oh. so I that was also my take on the homily of the priest. So so interconnected the gospels. No? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So nice with Talaga. Then I I I connected it also to the chosen that I just saw in the <clears throat> in series three, episode seven. Oh. So nice also. So series three is about healing healing faith compassion miracles it's it's also very nice i have to start i have to start yeah, watching please watch. yeah yeah the season three, three. Uh -oh. the it's season. almost ending yeah uh -oh. up to eight talaga pala ang one series 
eight episodes. Eight episodes. Oh. I I thought a second episode is five lang. Eight pala no? Oh, oh yeah. Eight, eight pala. Uh, eight eight pala. pala, MJ. Uh, I reviewed. Eight pala. Uh, so, amen. 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 Um, any any healing um, sh uh, share about healing or anything? We we don't sometimes we don't uh, uh, recognize or we are not aware. No, that that sometimes we experience healing every day, yeah. especially emotional healing. Em emotional yeah. healing. Emotional, uh, mental, uh, spiritual. And mental, uh, spiritual healing. Uh, if not physical. Siguro we are not aware na maski na uh, physical siguro. Hindi rin tayo aware. Uh, hindi tayo aware. So what we do is uh, uh, keep on praying for protection and healing, whatever whatever shape of form of any intensity of, of healing. no. Pero it's so easy. It's so easy if we pray, it's so easy to achieve any kind of healing talaga, as long as you have faith. Amen. Amen. Healing requires total faith. No? Yes. Even if people lying in the marketplace, I, I think they were not healed right away, no? because it depends on their faith. Faith. You must have that 100% faith that you will be healed. And the uh, Eucharist, no? Mass, the Eucharist can heal. Either physically, spiritually, emotionally. But we must not forget Trials, pains, and illnesses are part of life. You cannot separate that. They are part of life. Even the apostles, the apostles underwent trials and it's part of life. If you are not God knows. It's part of life. Maybe he wants uh, you to accept that and uh, Uh, connect that with his suffering, offer that for the conversion of sinners. Usually, it's for the conversion of sinners. Of sinners. Yeah, for the conversion. Yeah. yeah. But na ng buhay yun. If you are not healed, God has some mm -hmm. other purpose, maybe. We have to accept that. Kasama na sa buhay natin yan. Some are healed, some are not. Amen. 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 Oh, thank you very much, Tito Man. It's it's true, no, it's true. Uh, I remember I asked Father Danny one time about uh, uh, praying for other people. Uh, for example, praying for somebody that that somebody has uh, no faith or doesn't even, you know, uh, um, that doesn't even recognize that you are praying for him, you know, and then and then kung mahil siya. So uh, I think Father Danny was uh, saying like like it depends on on our faith naman oh kasi sometimes no we pray for that somebody that 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 somebody no who is sick and then he doesn't he doesn't even know that we are praying for him or her and then lack of faith siya if there is healing also father danny said yes mahil siya through us through our faith oh, through our faith and then when we pray, when we ask, no, when we pray for anything, no, when we pray with, with full faith, number one. Number two, um, um, 
when you pray, give thanksgiving as if it, it you already receive the the prayer that that I uh, know that you pray for that it's already granted. So so if if we remember, no, ang um, Santo Nino prayer after the Santo Nino prayer, no, may prayer for thanksgiving na, or na as if we already receive the 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 petitions that we already uh, that we we are praying as if we already received so in other words uh, give thanks already because of, because you have faith that your petition will be granted kaya mag thanksgiving ka na so 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 in other words mag pray ka is with full faith para mag grant sa you and then thank the lord that you already as if you already have it as if it was already is already granted to you. Part yan ng prayer sa ano sa Santo Niño Novena natin. Prayer for Thanksgiving. So, Amen. Amen. I have here a short prayer no about about healing no. Um. So in the name of the Father, the Son Father, of the Holy the Spirit. Son, Amen. My healing Lord. We thank you for the spiritual healing you continually offer us, especially through the sacrament of reconciliation. We thank you for the forgiveness of our, of our sins on account of you suffering on the cross. Fill our hearts with a greater desire to come to you so that to receive the greatest gift we could ever receive, the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus, we trust in you. Amen. 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 And for another closing prayer, Tita um, Migabilen. Okay. Father, may your name be praised greatly for giving us good health to gather here. May your praise be continually in our mouths. Bless everyone that is here to gather for this meeting. Bless our families. Lord, let your face shine upon us and give peace throughout this day. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. 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 And all together, please. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever, shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. We love you. We love you. Thank you very much. See you.